Hi friends, welcome to this session. My name is Yogesh. In this session, we are going to discuss on uh, NTP client configuration on Red Hat or CentOS 7. First thing, why we need NTP client? So, NTP is protocol which keeps server time synchronized with one or more time sources. In Red Hat 7, uh, we got uh, two NTP client implementation supported. First is NTP, which is traditional NTP client on Red Hat systems, and that's a classic package. This package is not installed by default on uh, Red Hat 7. And uh, we already used this NTP client on Red Hat 5 or Red Hat 6. The new implementation of NTP client in Red Hat 7, and which is default package in Red Hat or CentOS 7, that is Crony. So now, what are the benefits if we use Crony? First one, Crony work well when external time reference are only intermittently available. Next one, it works well on congested network. And uh, another benefit, it support iBust option, which is very useful for fast time syncing. Now, uh, recommendations on NTP client. So friends, uh, just uh, pay attention on this particular bit. So as I said, uh, crony syncs time very fast or very efficient for time syncing when you are on, you're using a system which gets very frequently disconnected or reconnected on a network. So let's say your mobile device is a virtual system, for example. So on those systems, you can use crony. The traditional NTP client which is uh, NTP so NTP daemon should be considered for system which are normally kept permanently on so for example you got uh, some production server which is normally powered on it gets rebooted uh, once a day I'm just taking this example so I will consider NTP for permanently or uh, the system which is uh, normally kept powered on. So let's jump to technical session. In technical session, we are going to discuss uh, how we can configure Crony or if we want to get rid of Crony, how we can uh, remove Crony package, how we can uh, stop Crony service and uh, how to enable NTP service. So friends, I am on my server now. So let's verify uh, whether crony or NTP is installed on the system or not. So RPM, I will use RPM command. So package name is crony D. We see crony is not installed. Maybe it's not crony. It's C H R O N Y. Yeah, it's crony, not crony D. Crony D is German. So uh, this is the package which is installed by default. Let me check NTP, whether NTP is installed or not. So NTP date is installed, friends. Um, that's an NTP date command, but NTP package itself is not installed. So on this system, crony D is there. So how to use crony? So in for that case, I got internet connectivity using my it one interface here. So I got uh, DNS setup on my system. So let me show you. I'm just doing DNS query on uh, this Google DNS. If you see this particular name, it, this IP is resolved to this name, which is Google public DNS. I'm using that DNS server for my testing. So crony, as I said, is installed by default on Red Hat 7 system. To enable it, we have to use system CTO. Let me verify status first. C H R O N Y. So service name is Crony D. Crony D dot service. If we see service is loaded, it's disabled state, and it is not running right now. If we want to permanently enable Crony, you want to use. Uh, you have decided you want to use Crony permanently. So just uh, enable it. Enable mean whenever system boot, it will start Crony automatically. No need to start it manually. So, okay, if you see, I have enabled service and it created the symbolic links to the startup scripts. Okay, so.
So now start the service. So to start service system CTL start crony dot service crony d dot service. Okay, service is started. Let's verify status now. If you see service is enabled, it means automatically it will start uh, when server boots, and then now it is active. Okay. So friends, now next thing, how we can use crony or how we can verify time syncing is working or not. So crony C is the command C H R O N Y. Okay, crony C. Then you can uh, type sources. So sources mean what are the time sources which are you can say our NTP servers. So by default when I installed crony it automatically configured these sources. These are public sources but in case of your uh, internal network or your company network you can use your own time sources and uh, or you can uh, run command. Okay, Right now if I explain my crony NTP client is communicating with NTP2. If you see star here, star means my crony is synced with this particular server right now for time syncing. Even these servers are available, but right now time syncing is working with this one, which called star. To verify, uh, I can run tracking command, crony C tracking. Okay, if you see here, this is the reference ID, this is the system date, last offset, so all information is here. So this is the information and uh, this is a static IP from Optusnet. So friends, uh, in this way I can verify like what is the crony status. So crony is working, time sync is working, okay. So if you want to change uh, NTP server IP, you can modify it in vi etc crony.conf file if you see these are the four servers which currently we are using for time syncing when you get your own server you can get rid of these particular default or public ntp servers you can put your servers here so friends that's crony now let's say you got some production system you don't want to use crony in that case, what I recommend, you remove crony. So to remove crony, I will just uh, stop the service first. RPM, not RPM, sorry. To stop service, system CTL, stop crony, D dot service. So service is stopped. Now I will remove RPM. When you are doing this activity on production or live production system, just uh, I recommend to take outage or notify your application team because uh, like never take risk on uh, critical production system. Okay, so friends package is removed. If you see uh, it already removed the keys which it uh, used for time syncing. Okay, so now let's install NTP. My system is connected to CentOS uh, default EM repository. I am installing NTP, um, install NTP, I believe it's called NTPD. So it will check repositories, whether this package is available or not. It should be available. I am in doubt whether package is called NTP or NTPD. So yep, my doubt is correct. So it's NTP. Sorry, friends. Yep, NTP. NTPD is daemon, which uh, is delivered by this particular package. Okay, so I'm saying yes, I want to install this package. Okay friends, so NTP is installed. Same way to enable this NTP client service to start at boot time system CTL, enable NTPD.service. I'm always typing enabled, it's enabled. Okay, service is enabled. I'm going to start this service. Start ST 
ART service is started and to verify whether time syncing is working or not you can run ntpq minus p command if you see star it got star this particular entry it means time syncing is working right now my this server my lab box which is ntp client is connected with this particular ntp server so that's it friends so use ntp or ntpd when you are on production system which is uh, mostly powered on and uh, for the system which is frequently powered on or very frequently rebooted use crony thanks friend for watching this video if you have any question or your suggestions are always welcome you can post your suggestion on my youtube channel and thanks a lot for watching i will uh, uh, come with uh, some new video some new tech tutorial uh, in my next video thanks a lot for watching thanks bye bye